Hello, welcome to English 300 Writing in the Disciplines. This is a very intense course and uh, I usually don't say things like this but I have to for this course. I won't take late work. I assign a lot of work. It's got to be done. I'll be reasonable about problems that originate from the university's end or my end but on your end you really got to get the work in on time. So this is a review of week one as the kinds of things that need to be done. And I'm sorry if the, if the video goes too long, but uh, I really want to make sure you understand what's happening here and can ask questions. So the first thing, I'm, on, I'm using my student view here. So I'm pretending to be a student and this is what you see. So you open that up and of course the first thing you look at is announcements, okay? And this just tells you stuff I feel like you need to know. It's like news, class news. And if it's on here, you need to read it and pay attention. Um, I ask you to read the syllabus. Because um, it tells you everything that's going to happen in the course. Uh, and uh, also be aware that we've switched over to a new version of Blackboard 4. So things are likely to mess up. Uh, I hope not, but uh, they are quite likely to. We'll figure it out. We we'll always have. All right. Second item is instructor info. There's nothing there. I will include an instructor bio. That's one of the uh, the first discussion board is introduce yourself. So I will include information there, and then I'll copy it to here as well. Suffice to say, I've been teaching for over 25 years. Taught high school for 10 years. Taught at Western for 15 years, and. Uh, <clears throat> I've been online teaching for about 10 of those 15 years. So there's always stuff to learn. If you have questions, ask them. I'll get to them as quick as I can. Discussions. Um, these are discussion boards. And the main thing with discussion boards is just to follow the directions. Now, one general direction I can always give you is you need to respond to a couple other classmates. And... The responses need to be useful, okay? That's, that's about all the guidance I'm going to give you on that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, then the next thing I want you to look at is week one, July 8th through the 15th. I did believe we're halfway through the summer, but there we are. And these are all the assignments for the week. I try to put due dates in pink or something that's very visible and easy to see. Um, and uh, if you see something is left out, let me know. I'll put it, I'll fix it. I really appreciate that. So the first thing you'll do in the week is uh, reading assignments. And uh, these are, <laughs> these are, when I say read this first, I mean it. Read that, read, click on that. I'll click on it this time. And show you, and I want you to read this. This is a we don't have a textbook in here. I've I've just borrowed a few pages from some some text so that we don't get into copyright problems. Uh, so it doesn't cost you any money. So uh, read these, and because they have really important stuff in them. For example, this block right here, critical reading for summary. This is how to read the article we're going to read critically. How to do it. And here is guidelines for writing summaries. And I want you to write them exactly like they suggest in here. Why? Because it's it works. It's handy. It's not the only way to write a summary, but, you know, no sense reinventing the wheel, right? So each one of these is something you need to read. Um, here's a demonstration article that, that you, you need to read. And then the third thing you read is how to summarize that demonstration article. So these two articles, these two items right here that you're reading together show you um, how to do a summary, how somebody else does a summary. And then the fourth article is the baby in the well. And I've got it in two different formats here. Okay, one is a link to the web page where it appears in the New Yorker, and this one is a PDF. You can choose either one to read, but you need to read both of them. This is the article you will summarize for uh, for the first paper you write. Okay, I want you to introduce yourself. I want you to do it early in the week. 
I want you to come up with a research topic. I didn't put a due date there. I'll, I'll put that in there as soon as I'm done with this. Um, and that's going to be early in the week, too. Both of these things have to be done early in the week. Well, they don't make any sense, you know. I want to know who you are by July 10th, which is Wednesday, early. So, so get that done. And your research topics, in order for you to do research this week, you have to decide what your topics are early this week. And these are the requirements for that. And you need to help each other on the discussion board. And I have written, I have a discussion board response as a template if you want to look at it. First writing assignment. This is the summary. This is the baby in the well. This is what I want you to write. So the stuff that you read up here is now going to be applied here. I include the, the article again here. Uh, here's a checklist for the paper. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. The second reading assignment, writing assignment, is is to create a research plan. And research plan can take any form you want. It can be paragraphs. It can be a bulleted list. But you need to look at this DAPS tool because it really will help you make specific goals. If your goal is to, I will go, I will research on Google, that is not a good research plan because that's a rabbit hole. You can get lost in it. You know it. I know it. We've all done it. So what I want you to do is come up with something that is that you can do that is specific and that is um, uh, actionable. You can actually do it. Um, and I have a, uh, a research plan that I've included here as an example. Notice I just made a list. I will explore these questions using Google Tools. I will decide by Monday uh, which of these questions I will f further explore. So by, by Monday, you need to know which one you're going to do. Because this is a five-week course and you only have five weeks to write this. So the first week will be deciding what you're going to do. And then the, the rest of the time will spend doing it. Um, and down here I say, the last thing I say is by Monday, 8 a.m., 15 July, I will write. See, very specific. You can't, you know, you're telling yourself what you, you're making a promise to yourself. That's, that's what it is. Plan your work, work your plan. In other words, write down what you're going to do, then go do it. And it's really important that you, uh, uh, these research plans, that you do these research plans, because first off, they have a points assigned to them, and secondly, they also uh, are, are something you can use at the end of the semester to write your, your final exam slash presentation, which is telling the story of how you answered the question at the heart of your research project. And these research plans and reflections will help you do that. So once you've got your plan early in the week ready, and I'll critique them to make sure you know they're not too broad, uh, too general, then you just get to work and uh, you answer the question you answer this the, you, you do the things you say you're going to do in your research plan uh, it, it's an imperfect process but um, it's a useful one especially in a class that's so tight tightly scheduled like this one is and the last item is writing the uh, research reflection so you work through your research plan and your research topics during the week you make notes to yourself how are you doing? What are you doing? What kind of problems are you having? What, what worked? What didn't? Uh, what you're moving towards? Um, and this is so that you do a better job. You know, so, okay, next week I will be a lot more specific about this. Or, I, you know, look back. That's what reflection is, looking back and thinking over your work. Um, and I don't have an example of this yet. But I will work my way through a research, reflect, re research plan and reflection this week as well. Okay? All right. So, that's the week's assignments. You really have to stay on top of things uh, because I won't take late work. I just won't. I've, I've, I have tried to be kind in the past. Uh, towards students and most of the time it works out but I've been taken advantage of quite a bit 
And uh, besides, this is a five-week course. I've never taught the online English 300, so I have to be quite strict this summer about late work. If you don't feel like you can do this, I say drop the course and wait for the semester-long course. Okay? All right, that's it. Uh, I know it's a 10-minute video, uh, but I just wanted something real quick up here so you could uh, actually see how a week's worth of work plays out. All right? Thank you all. I look forward to working with you. I'll help you all I can. There will be more items that I put up as the week goes on as I see things that we need. And I look forward to uh, uh, learning from you as much as you learn from this course.